The upcoming iPhone SE 4 has been a hot topic for Apple enthusiasts, especially when it comes to one key feature. Will it include the dynamic island or retain the traditional notch? While the iPhone SE models have historically stuck with more classic designs, the SE 4 is expected to make some big changes, sparking a lot of speculation around this very question. It's clear that Apple is aiming to introduce more premium features and the dynamic island could be one of the most significant upgrades. Even Blast, a well-known and reliable tech leaker, recently shared that the iPhone SE 4 will feature the dynamic island, a design element that debuted with the iPhone 14 Pro. If true, this would be a major shift for the iPhone SE series, which is typically Apple's more budget-friendly option. The dynamic island is not just a cosmetic upgrade, it's a functional improvement that enhances the screen experience by offering a more interactive and modern solution compared to the old notch. It's a sleek design that can make the SE 4 feel like a more high-end device. However, not everyone agrees with Blast's prediction. Ross Young, the CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants, another reliable source, has suggested that the iPhone SE 4 will stick with the notch similar to the iPhone 14. This debate between two respected sources shows just how much uncertainty surrounds the iPhone SE 4's design. It's a bit of a guessing game right now and will likely have to wait until the official announcement, which could come in late March or early April, to find out which leaker is right. Regardless of the notch or dynamic island question, there's plenty of other exciting news surrounding the iPhone SE 4. Rumors indicate that the phone will feature a single rear camera and Apple is expected to switch from the traditional lightning port to a USB-C port. This shift aligns with the company's broader strategy to adopt USB-C across its devices, which would bring the iPhone SE 4 in line with other recent Apple products. The camera setup is expected to be a 48 megapixel single lens, which although modest by today's standards, could still deliver impressive results. Apple software could work in tandem with the hardware to enhance photo quality, much like what Google did with its early Pixel phones. Despite the Pixel's single lens, it was known for taking some of the best photos in the industry thanks to its computational photography. The iPhone SE 4 could follow a similar approach, which would be great news for those who care about camera performance but don't want to spend on a premium model. When it comes to the display, the iPhone SE 4 is expected to feature a 6.1-inch OLED screen, offering a noticeable improvement over previous models. However, the refresh rate is likely to stay at 60 Hz, which means it won't match the ultra-smooth refresh rates found on Apple's higher-end devices. While that may be a downside for some users, the OLED display itself should still offer vibrant colors and sharp visuals. Powering the iPhone SE 4 will be the new 3 nanometer A18 chip, paired with 8GB of RAM. This combination should allow the device to handle everyday tasks with ease, making it a solid performer. It will also support Apple's own 5G modem chip, though it won't include support for MemWave 5G. While MemWave 5G offers faster data speeds, it's not yet widely available, so most users will likely benefit from the more common sub-6 GHz 5G networks. For the majority of people, this shouldn't be a deal breaker. As for the price, the iPhone SE 4 is expected to fall in the $450 to $500 range, making it an affordable option considering the new features it may offer. Despite the uncertainty about the notch or dynamic island, the SE 4 looks like it will pack a lot of value into a more budget-friendly package. Ultimately, the big question remains, will the iPhone SE 4 feature the dynamic island or will it stick with the old notch design? While leaks and rumors give us some clues, we'll have to wait for the official announcement to know for sure. But one thing is certain, whether it's the notch or dynamic island, the iPhone SE 4 will likely bring some exciting upgrades to Apple's budget line. Stay tuned as we'll be covering all the latest developments in the coming months. Have you ever wondered which smartphone is creating the biggest buzz when a new series is released? Samsung has just unveiled its Galaxy S25 series, and it seems one model is truly stealing the spotlight. In this video, we'll discuss which Galaxy S25 phone is capturing the most attention and how it's performing in the market. Samsung recently introduced three phones in its Galaxy S25 lineup. The Galaxy S25, the Galaxy S25 Plus, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra. But they also tease something exciting. A new Galaxy S25 Edge, though it won't be available until later this year. For now, we're focusing on these three models, and the question is, which one stands out the most? According to reports from South Korea's ET News, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is the clear winner. In fact, it's been reported that almost 70% of all Galaxy S25 series sales in South Korea have come from the Ultra version, which shows just how popular it's become. That's a huge share, and it tells us that many customers are opting for the Ultra over the other models. Why is the Galaxy S25 Ultra getting so much love? It's all about the features. 
The Ultra model is known for its top tier camera system, the largest screen and the most powerful performance among the S25 phones. If you're someone who wants the best of the best, the Ultra is definitely the model to go for. Another thing that's catching people's attention is the color selection. SK Telecom, one of South Korea's major mobile carriers, revealed that the two most popular colors for the Galaxy S25 Ultra are titanium black and titanium white silver. These colors have a premium, sophisticated look, which is probably why so many buyers are drawn to them. The sleek, modern finishes of these colors only add to the phone's luxury feel. But let's not forget about the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus. Even though the Ultra is clearly taking the lead, the regular Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus aren't far behind. They're still attracting buyers who might not want to spend as much on the Ultra, but still want a high-quality smartphone. The most popular colors for these models are Ice Blue and Silver Shadow. Ice Blue has a calm and refreshing appeal, while Silver Shadow offers a shiny, elegant touch that's bound to turn heads. It's important to note that the demand for the Galaxy S25 series is tracking similarly to last year's Galaxy S24 series. Samsung's previous lineup also saw strong sales, with plenty of customers excited to purchase the new models. So, the fact that the Galaxy S25 series is receiving the same level of enthusiasm shows just how loyal Samsung's customer base is and how well the brand's new features and improvements are being received. What does all this mean for Samsung? It's clear that the Galaxy S25 lineup is doing incredibly well in South Korea. The Ultra version is leading the pack, but the regular S25 and S25 Plus models are still proving to be strong contenders. These phones offer fantastic value for anyone who doesn't want to go all in on the Ultra version, but still desires a phone that packs a punch. The S25 series truly offers something for everyone, whether you're after top tier performance or a more affordable yet powerful option. What's also fascinating is how people are making their decisions based on colors and features. Some are drawn to the larger, more feature-rich Ultra, while others are content with the smaller but still impressive Galaxy S25 or S25 Plus. Samsung's diverse range of options ensures that there's something to match every user's taste and needs. Now that we've seen how the Galaxy S25 series is shaping up in terms of sales and popularity, it's time for you to weigh in. Do you find yourself leaning toward the Galaxy S25 Ultra, or are you more interested in the regular S25 or S25 Plus? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and let us know which model is your top pick. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs. Samsung is once again the focus of attention in the tech world as anticipation builds for the upcoming Galaxy S25 series. This launch is poised to be a pivotal moment, not just for the smartphone market, but for Samsung's broader strategy across its diverse product lines. Reports from South Korea suggest that key decisions are being made this week as Samsung's top executives convene for their biannual global strategy meetings. These discussions are critical for shaping the future of the Galaxy S25, as well as other flagship products like the Galaxy Z Flip 7 and Galaxy Z Fold 7. Beyond smartphones, the meetings are expected to address plans for tablets, wearables, and even home appliances, highlighting Samsung's integrated approach to innovation. One of the most intriguing developments on the horizon is a prototype for Samsung's first extended reality device, codenamed Project Muhan. Running on the Android Extended Reality Platform, this groundbreaking technology could debut alongside the Galaxy S25 series.